I'm John Ubel, and today I'm talking to Tom about his economic situation and some of the issues affecting the greater Pasco County economy. So Tom, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm 34, married, two children. Um, my wife is currently working as a medical assistant at a pediatrician's office, and I'm currently unemployed. So what type of work experience do you have? What, what's the last job that you have done? The last job I had was leasing a truck for uh, a major trucking company out of Lowell, Arkansas. And unfortunately, I couldn't, they didn't have enough miles for the drivers they had, even though they were still trying to lease on more drivers. I understand that. Yeah, the trucking industry has definitely gone south, at least in this part of the country and definitely for the state. And a lot of people have been suffering because of it. So, so tell me, I mean, you've been out there applying for jobs, you've been looking for work, and you can't find any? Nothing here in Florida. And I've, you know, I'm registered with the Florida Workforce website. And I don't remember the exact name of it right off. I just type it in and go. But um, I haven't had any job hits, anything that I'm even mm -hmm. remotely qualified for. And I'm looking at it everywhere from Monroe County all the way up to Scambia, and nothing. No, it's, uh, it's, it's very bad in this state. They say that the official unemployment rate for the state of Florida is somewhere around 13%, but personally, I, I believe it's a lot higher. When I agree. You, when you look at the numbers of the foreclosures and you see the amount of people that you meet firsthand and know that they're out of work, the number could be as high as 20, maybe even 25%. So... Although it's unlikely we'll see an honest number from the government anytime soon. Now I have to ask you, when you hear about the federal government giving billions of dollars to the banks, yet letting millions of homeowners being kicked out of their homes, how does that make you feel? It, it hurts. I mean, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on what side of the, what side of the tracks you're on, you know, I'm not really sure that the federal government should have done that. They should have been bailing out the homeowners. They're the ones that needed it. The, but the money that went to these banks didn't help the homeowners out. They kept the banks afloat. No, that's that's for sure. Yeah, the, the big banks have been thrown a lifeline, and the average homeowner has been thrown an anchor, and millions of them are sinking, and it's, it's very sad, very sad. So I have to ask you, where do you see yourself, say, six or 12 months from now? I'm not really sure. A lot of that would probably have to do on the job situation. But, you know, the job market here, you know, if it turns out better somewhere else, you know, I'll go, I'll go to where the jobs are. And, you know, if things improve here, you know, maybe one day I could have a decent house. Um, you know, the house I live in now is fine. It's a rented house. You know, it keeps us warm, keeps us dry, and we have a decent landlord. But as far as five or six years from now, the way the economy's going, the way things are flip-flopping, you know, health care bill, you know, banks, this, that, I really have no way of knowing. As far as security, it's just not there. That's, that's for sure. Now, the, the government and the mass media are saying that we're in recovery right now. And based on the people that you've spoken to and the, the situation, at least in this area, do you believe that we're in recovery? Well, if I was invested in the New York Stock Exchange, yeah, I'd probably say it. I hear they talk about the numbers are getting bigger, but for some of us it really doesn't matter. You know, some, some of us, you know, who are just struggling to make ends meet, it really doesn't matter where the stock market is. We don't notice it. We don't see it. People are still out of jobs, the unemployment rate's still going up, but, you know, I don't see any recovery. Yeah, there's a very small percentage of the of Americans that are involved in, in the stock exchange or in the stock market right now that are doing well. It's probably less than one-tenth of one percent. And while the other 99.9 percent .9 of the country suffer, these uh, one-tenth of one percent are doing well. So. It's definitely not a good system. It needs to change very soon. Yes, it does. So, is there anything that you'd like to add? 
I just really hope that, you know, whatever our government has in store for us brings a positive change. I'm tired of the negative changes. I'm tired of the government thinking that, you know, they can do whatever they want now that we've elected them. You know, some of them, it seems like they feel that our voice is heard when we vote for them. But then once they're in office, they just shut the door. No, they do. They do. I mean, the open door policy, you know, those those days are long past, unfortunately. You know, there's very few people. I wrote a couple senators the other day about the um, health care bill, and I didn't even get an automated reply. I didn't expect a letter back mm. right away. But usually, you know, some of these people, especially in the federal government, usually you get an automatic reply that says, thank you, we received your letter. I didn't even get that. So, was it acknowledged? I don't know. Was the content of my letter not worthy? Well, I'm a U.S. citizen. It should be worthy. Yeah, and you've paid taxes all your life. You've yes. paid into the system, and here you are and at I, this point and in I your vote. life. And you vote. And at this point in your life, you're down on your luck, and the government isn't doing anything for you. It's not doing anything for a lot of people. It's not just me. Right, for millions, for literally tens of millions of Americans. Pe people that are still working in it and do work hard every day, sometimes up to seven days a week. I have a friend of mine that has that works two jobs. He's working seven days a week. He's lucky to get Christmas off. And mm -hmm. he's not even able to pull it together. And the government's not there for him either. Personally, I think they're there for themselves. That's very true. Very true. Out of touch. And in many cases, out of sight because they're not responding to your to right. your letters. That's that's not the way government's supposed to operate. Well, Tom, I really appreciate you being with me. No problem. Today. At all. And uh, I wish you the best. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thanks.